everyone. Welcome back to the Tailored Expressions YouTube channel. It's Taylor here today, and I would like to walk you through a little bit more about our liquid watercolor. I have previously recorded a video to share with you a little bit more about the properties and the different special features of our liquid watercolor. And today I'm gonna to focus on a few different watercolor techniques. So right now I'm just gonna tape down my 118 pound watercolor cardstock using some purple tape. I often like to rip my purple tape in half when I am just taping down to a hard board because I don't need that full thickness and that'll make my tape go just a little bit further. And depending on what I plan to do with my panel after I've applied my liquid watercolor, I will determine whether I want to use the smooth side or the textured side of the cardstock. In this case, I am applying the liquid watercolor onto the smooth side of the cardstock. I'm using three of my favorite colors for this color wash technique. I put one drop of Plum Punch, one drop of Cookie Monster, and one drop of Blue Corn. Now when you're doing a color wash technique, you wanna make sure that you have your paper wet. You don't want the water dripping off, but you do want it wet enough so that when you put down that color, it's gonna feather out nicely. And water is gonna be your friend. So water, the more water you apply, it's gonna push around on your piece. You can just kind of use your hard board as you grip it. You can kind of turn it and watch those colors run together. And I really don't have any rhyme or reason for where I apply the color, just depending on the look that I want for this particular panel. You can see that those colors run nicely together. And when it's all finished, you'll wanna use a paper towel when you're kind of happy with where it's at to just sop up the extra water around the edges. Here's a panel that I did before, and you will notice that you will get some seepage around the outside of that purple tape, and that's normal. If you are applying water, the water will get underneath if you have quite a bit of water. If you're doing something with less water, you will not have as much seepage as I did. And now I'd like to show you something cool to do with our shimmer liquid. So this liquid is actually just filled with mica shimmer, and I have a mini mister bottle that I am putting a little bit of water in with my eyedropper. Now when you use the shimmer you want to make sure you shake it really well because those little bits do settle toward the bottom of the dropper bottle and I have a mini mister filled with water and you can add about 20 to 25 drops to that mister, shake it up and then spritz it onto your dry watercolor backdrop. You can kind of see the shimmer here, but really now it just still looks wet. So I wanna bring in a panel that I did previously and spritzed, and you can see just how beautifully that dries with the lovely shimmer on there. It provides such a nice even coat of shimmer across your entire piece. And you can also spritz that onto plain cardstock. Now what I'm gonna show you is another use for our shimmer liquid. I am adding one drop of the shimmer to each well that I used previously, along with one drop of water just to dilute that color a little bit more for painting. So I'm gonna use my water brush on this three by four watercolor panel, and I am going to mix that really well. This is just mixing the shimmer directly in with the color. So as I paint, I'm getting both color and shimmer on my paper. So it kind of takes one step out of it for you when you mix the shimmer with the color. And you can see here when I hold up that panel, you can see the kind of shimmery bits that are on those letters. Now there is also another way you can achieve this. You can paint directly with the shimmer liquid. So I have one drop of shimmer liquid and one drop of water in that well. You can see how nice and shimmery that looks. Now I'm going to take a panel that I colored previously with just plain liquid watercolor. And I am painting over the top with the shimmer liquid. It provides the same effect, just depends on how you want to achieve that. So there are so many different things that you can do with our liquid watercolor and our really fun shimmer liquid. This is one of my favorites. I took a panel that I did a color wash technique I stamped a background over the top and then I spritzed it with the mister and you can see how shimmery and shiny that is. Here are a few other panels that I've just been playing with different ideas showing you emboss resist, color wash, you can do some really cool stripes. There are lots of different ways to combine these colors and they're so fun to use.
You can check them all out at our website at tailoredexpressions.com. Thanks for stopping by.